everybody, and welcome to Shopping with Shayna. It is Thursday, April 11th, as I'm making this video, and I have an updated must-do deals video for you at Kroger that runs between April 10th through the 16th of 2024. This is the first week of our buy five or more, save a dollar each mega sale and all those good things. Um, so I've got a couple of updates. I gotta be honest with you, it, it really wasn't a lot this morning, but I wanted to make sure that um, I showed you a, a couple of deals that I had missed yesterday. I wanted to talk about the clearance event. I wanted to get to some of your comments because some of you had questions, some of you had deals you wanted to share, all that good stuff. So I wanna make sure that I get to everything um, and that you don't miss out. So do me a huge favor if you like to save money at Kroger, um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, hit all so you don't miss any of my videos. And we are going to jump right into this because there is a lot to talk about. All right, just a quick reminder, tomorrow is the big day or the big starting day. Um, we're going to get four times the fuel points in my region, but uh, other regions are getting two times the fuel points that are going to last the entire weekend, where four times the fuel points is Friday only. We also have these four times the fuel points on gift cards going on currently. So if you're planning on going out to eat or you're planning on making a purchase at like a Kohl's or a Target or something, go get yourself a gift card of what you're going to already spend and get four times the fuel points on top of it because we all know we need to save some money at the pump. Oh my goodness, it is going back up, at least in my region or my area. The gas has been going up. It has not been coming back down. So I'm hoping that, uh, you know, we, I, I, as always, when we go into an election season, we're in election season, I guess, but as we get closer, gas tends to go down, but um, hopefully we see that soon, but then it goes right back up. So <laughs> It's, it's never going to win or we're never going to win. So anyway, you want to make sure you're saving money at the pump and this is the best way to do it. So make sure you clip these coupons. All right, so we're going to start out with our mega sale. I had a couple of them that I, I missed and um, I have an update on one deal for you. Um, not that I missed, I just didn't, well, I guess I missed it. I didn't see it uh, to share it with you yesterday, but they're they're good. They're, they're actually really good um, deals. And so I'm going to share those with you. Uh, just a quick reminder with the mega sale, you do have to buy five or more participating items in the same transaction, but you do not have to buy in multiples of five. Um, you can mix and match these items. So it you know, you can do one item here, two items here, and you know, another item until you get to five, basically. And then a dollar per item comes off at checkout. This is just a sale price. We can easily pair these with any kind of coupons, whether they're um, printable coupons, uh, uh, digital coupons, insert coupons, store or manufacturer. And of course, we can also pair them with rebate apps, Ibotta and Fetch and Maryfield and Shopkick and Swagbucks and Checkout 51 and all those good things. If you're missing any of those, go to the description box below and sign up using my referral codes today. All right, let's jump in. Here we go. So the General Mill cereal deal got even sweeter. We have a Kroger cash back that I believe just popped up this morning. Um, I did not see it yesterday when I was going through all the deals. So I'm not sure if it popped up yesterday, but it didn't yet. It wasn't there yesterday morning. So um, we have a dollar back on two from Kroger cash back. So we're going to get these cereals for this ridiculously cheap price, which is amazing. So General Mill cereals are regularly priced for $4.29 on sale for $2.99, mega sale for $1.99. We have a dollar off two digital coupon, or you can submit to the Shop Me app. Out of pocket, pay $1.49 each, then submit to Ibotta for a dollar back on two, and then Kroger Cashback is new, a dollar back on two as well. And then we have Fetch that you'll go ahead and submit towards uh, 2,000 points when you spend 40. We shouldn't hit that with this one deal, but if you have, are buying other um, items that are a part of the General Mills products deal there, you may end up hitting it. But anyway, 49 cents per box or possibly less if you happen to hit that, that Fetch um, threshold. But 49 cents, amazing, great deal here. Next deal we have is Dave's Killer Bread Snack Bars, four count. These are regularly priced $5.99. We have a sale price of $5.49 and a mega sale price of $4.49. Now check and see if you have this two off one digital coupon. I did. Out of pocket is $2.49 and then Ibotta is gonna give us $2.50 back on one. It's a limit of three times, so you definitely could do this deal um, for Ibotta three times, but only one time for the digital coupon. So you can get one box for completely free. I'd love to take all the credit for this, but I cannot do so. We've 
We've got a commenter, Romans 838, says Dave's Killer Bread organic snack bars are Omega for $4.49. We have a two off digital coupon, one time use, and I have a $2.50 Ibotta. Limit three makes one free. Additional two would be $3.98 or about $1.99 each. So that's a really good. If this is like a snack bar that you really, really like, I've actually never tried these. So I would love to know your opinion on them. Are they good? Um, I, I don't know that I will get to eat them because um, I'm doing keto or I'm trying to. I'm, I'm like failing at it. But anyway, <laughs> I just had like a fruit snack yesterday I shouldn't have had. But anyway, um, uh, <laughs> uh, my kids, would they enjoy them? I guess that's kind of what I'm saying is I don't want to buy them if no one's going to eat them in my household. I'd much rather let somebody – I might get one because of the freebie and then I could just give it away. But uh, let me know in the comments what you think of these or what flavor is the best one. That too, that would be good. All right, I have a couple of these type of yogurts to talk to talk to you about for this particular deal. Oikos Remix yogurt is one of them. Um, now the regular price is a dollar sixty nine, but because they're part of the mega sale, they're just going to be sixty nine cents. You don't have to have to have any extra um, coupons involved or anything like that. Just sixty nine cents, which is a really great price. Something to take note is there was a freebie coupon for either this yogurt or a couple of the other ones. I'm going to show you in just a second to use, and I used mine like a week or two weeks ago, something like that when we got it. But it's still available if you haven't used it. You might be able to get one of these for free. Um, it's it's really weird how Kroger is doing things now. They don't have the coupons like disappear once you use them. It just tells you when you used them. I don't know if you've noticed that. But anyway, um, but I did use mine already, uh, but you may have a freebie still. So anyway, 69 cents, really great price. We also have the Two Good Remix yogurt, and this is what I use my freebie on. Um, again, just regularly priced $1.69, mega sale for $0.69. Cents. That's it. No, Nothing else extra added in, so that's really good. And then one more here, the Dannon Light and Fit Remix yogurt. Now these, again, same thing, $1.69 um, on mega sale for $0.69, cents, and that's your final cost. There's nothing else extra you have to do. Has anybody tried these? I actually picked one up, but I have not actually tried it yet. Um, so let me know in the comments if you've tried any of these, what your favorite flavors are, that kind of thing. They all looked very interesting. They kind of reminded me of um, the Flips uh, yogurts which I really like those. It's just, again, the, there's usually just too many carbs, too high in sugar and stuff like that, that. That's why I haven't been getting them. All right, next up we have is the Finish Jet Dry Rinse Aid. Now, these are regularly priced $5.99. They're on sale for $5.49 and mega sale for $4.49. Plus, we have a three-off-one digital coupon. So if you have that clipped, your final cost is going to be just $1.49 for one of these. So really great deal here. Um, uh, coming from a $6 price point down to $1.50, really great deal. All right, let's move out of the mega sale deals. Like I said, I only had a few for you, a couple of updates there. Um, we're going to move into some Kroger deals, and then we'll get to some of the clearance I wanted to. We've talked about, or I kind of showed you yesterday um, in some videos, but let me, uh, let's, let's get to some new deals here first. All right, first we have the Sargento Shredded Cheese 8 ounce. These are regularly priced $3.99, but the sale this week is buy one, get one. No, Again, no coupons needed. You just grab two of them and you're going to pay roughly $2 each. So that's a pretty good price for Sargento. Sargento is a little bit more on the expensive side. You probably could do a little bit better at times with the Kroger brand cheese, but if you want to be very specific with Sargento cheese, this is a good deal I would stock up. Another deal that we have is the Duncan Hines Dolly Parton Frosting. Now, the frosting is regularly priced $2.49, but it's on sale this week for $1.67, and we have a dollar off one digital coupon. Now, I know I saw some people on Instagram promoting this in the last sale um, and had the coupon, and I actually went to look it up, and I didn't have the coupon, so I actually never promoted it. The final cost is $0.67 cents for one of these, but... Um, uh, it popped up, so I have it now. So check your account and see if you happen to get it now. If, if you, you know, I guess check and see if you, even if you had it before and you used it, if you got a new one, or if you didn't get one before and now you have it. Um, you could also use it on the cake mix if you're the muffin mix that I that we have there. Those are on sale for two fifty, so you'd be, be paying a dollar fifty for them. So if you prefer to do that, you definitely could. But obviously, the icing is a better or cheaper deal. All right, let's talk about some 90% off Easter clearance yesterday. Guys, oh my goodness. 
it was a it was interesting. So my kids are on spring break. So normally, like I am going crazy Wednesday mornings, trying to get a video out, trying to get it. Of course, my video was a little bit delayed. The the software to put my video out was not participating with me. It was not working with me. It was driving me nuts. But anyway, um, but I usually am very stressed trying to make sure that I'm getting my kids up, getting them dressed, getting a video out, all this stuff. Well, they're on spring break. So they were all sleeping. I was getting to just kind of move slowly, do my own thing. And then when, when I got done, I was like, I'm going to go up to Kroger. Um, I'm going to just walk around, see what I can find, thinking maybe I'd find some, you know, some closeout deals or something like that. And sure enough, it hit me when I pulled in the parking lot. Oh, yeah, it's supposed to be 90% off Easter clearance. So I made a beeline right towards the seasonal stuff. And they had, like, if you go watch my videos, I have a live video and I have um, just a quick little short that shows you this. But they had big, giant boxes full, just full of these squishmallows. Now, not all of them were Easter. There were a few that were mixed in that were not Easter, but a majority, if not, you know, not you know, several of them, I should say, we ended up getting, and I did not clear this. I will just say, <laughs> I did not take them all. Um, I called up my PTA president and said, hey, we need these for Santa shop, but I don't want to put them all on my card. I don't want to spend all my money. So she came up and met me. We got 53 of these Squishmallows for $95 and change. That's what we did. And oh my gosh, it was supposed to be Nine hundred something, nine hundred fifty dollars. We saved eight hundred ten dollars, I think, is what it said. Oh my goodness, it was the coolest feeling. I love, I love that. Um, but we, but we got fifty three of these for the Santa shop. So excited! And most of these don't look Easter, you know. Um, other than the little eggs on the tags, they just look like really cute squishmallows. So we're really excited about this particular deal. The mystery squad ones there, you see, um, those were three dollars. Um, I didn't put a picture in this video of them, but they were three dollars. I got one of each for my girls. I got, I, I think I got myself um, six or seven of these. I got a couple for the girls, like over some holidays that I could give out, plus um, just as gifts, just to give as gifts for birthday presents and stuff like that for the future. So um, I saved some for next year for Easter kind of thing. So really, really excited. But um, uh, yeah, I got some good Easter Easter clearance there. So let me show you some more. Now, the funny thing is, because the kids were on spring break, um, their grandma came and picked them up and took them to her house that night. Uh, I actually took my husband all the way up into Cincinnati to get a LASIK in one eye and then brought him back. And he had to sleep for four hours. So um, I was like, okay, well, I'm going to go out and see if I can find these because somebody posted, I wish I remember who posted it, but posted on Instagram about these Lego classic iconic cars, mini build set that were normally 10. I can't believe that little bag is 10, but anyway, that was clearancing out for a dollar. Um, and it was going along with the Easter stuff. Um, and I didn't see it when I was up there in the morning. So after I got him all settled, I got in the car and I was like, I'm going to go look around. I'm by myself. I have the afternoon. And I went to three different Kroger's. The first one was the Kroger I'd been to that morning with all the clearance. It did not have these. It, I looked in the toy section. I looked in the seasonal. I went back in the actual clearance section. Nothing. Well, then I was like, I'm going to go to another one. And sure enough, in the Easter clearance, hanging there with the $4.99 price point on it, were these three of them, three bags. I got all three of them. One of them I'm going to keep for, um, you know, either a stocking stuff or something like that for my son. And the other two I'm going to put in the uh, Sienna shop. Uh, but yeah, so for a dollar each. Now I went to a third Kroger and it did not have them at all. In fact, it had like nothing left. <laughs> it was, it was pretty, pretty picked over. Um, actually, I don't think I think, I think there might've been one or two items, but it was pretty much wiped. So um, yeah, I was really, really excited that I was able to find these. Now there was something else I had an eye open for with Lego. I saw these were also a part of the, uh, somebody posted on Instagram and then I looked it up and screenshot it. So I knew what I was looking for, but these Lego creator Easter chickens, are supposed to also be just a dollar. I was not able to find these at all. Now these would be, you know, signal more clearance or Easter to me. Um, so it'd be easier to grab them and check them. And that might be why they weren't around or maybe my store didn't carry them. I don't know. But anyway, those are a couple of visuals for you to kind of keep an eye open for. I bet you could find some more of those classics. Um, I feel like they would get lost in the mix. So if you have your eye open next time you go to Kroger, you might be able to find them. Who knows? 
All right, other Easter clearance that I was able to grab, um, I was able to find these like those clings, you know, there was the 30 cent cling, which you can kind of see the little gnome and at the bottom there is the egg cling that was 50 cents, so a little bit bigger. And then of course there was an Easter egg die kit. I just grabbed one, so we'd have one for next year. Um, I also went to the, actually the third Kroger, I take this back, they did have a little bit of clearance because I got these at the third, the third Kroger. The third Kroger had like taken all of their Easter clearance and there wasn't much left. It was like mainly a bunch of eggs and grass, but I was able to find um, two of these Easter cookie cut sets, three count, super cute, and two of these um, carrot and bunny silicone mo molds for 70 cents. And I got them, again, just putting them in Santa shop. I'm not planning on keeping them. Uh, but yeah, really, really super cute um, little deals here. So they were 80 cents and 70 cents. So keep an eye out for those. And then this one. So this one ended up being kind of a funny deal. Um, we were able to find these at the very first Kroger that we went to. In fact, they're in my videos that I did live and uh, I think the short as well. So the Tuscany candles are $1.30, normally priced $12.99. They were select ones. Um, we... I, I scanned the lavender and got a picture of it. And then I took all of them that were on the shelf and put them in the cart. Um, the, there was probably 12 of them. Uh, PTA actually purchased them, not me uh, personally, but we put them in the cart. There was a plan to give all teachers a candle for Teacher Appreciation Week in May. And she's like, I haven't bought the candles yet, but I'll buy these because these are so much cheaper. Um, and then they'll get me started at least. I'll have, and I'll just get a selection of candles. And so we got them, but we got up there and five of them were ringing up $7.99. And we, were, we had to figure it out. Well, seven of, or five of them uh, were not in the right spot. They were like the new spring ones. They were not the um, clearance ones. We ended up taking them off and everything, but scan each each uh, flavor there. Flavor? Um, I actually did have somebody, I might put this in my video tomorrow for just um, to look at, but somebody did send me a picture of four different um, flavors, not flavor, scents. That's what I'm going for. A scents that uh, you can look at to kind of get an idea, but that's if they're still even available, which might not be the case. Um, I also did find one of these Uno Disney Princess card games. I actually found it in the toy section at my Kroger and it was the only one and it rang up 80 cents. Um, I did notice on Instagram, somebody had posted and eight, I want to say it was 80 cents. It could, it was very, very cheap. I know that an Uno for Star Wars. So that's actually what I went in there looking for. And I scanned the Star Wars ones and they were full price. But the princess, the Disney princess one, when I scanned it, it rang up 80 cents. There was only one of them. I grabbed it. Um, super cute um, there. All right. It's time now to get to some of your comments. Um, the first comment I had was from Valerie that said, good evening. When I was going through my Kroger digital coupons, I checked under general coupons. There is a coupon for an 18 count Frito Lay's chips, buy two, get two free. And my mind was like, oh my goodness, that's amazing deal. Um, I was really hoping I had the same digital. I do not. <laughs> so Valerie, you are a lucky one. Um, check your digital coupons and see if you have it. I do not know what it looks like or anything. Valerie, if you're following me on Facebook or Instagram, if you can send me a picture of your coupon, that would be amazing so we can see what it looks like. Um, so I'm assuming I'm going to put together the deal for you here on the next slide. If you happen to have this buy to get to digital coupon, then you possibly are going to be getting these giant boxes for $4.50 each, which is amazing. So if you grab four of them, they're regularly priced $11.99. They're on sale for $10.99, mega sale for $9.99. We have a buy to get to digital coupon, possibly. Um, also, is it a, is a savings for you coupon, a, a best customer bonus coupon? Um, look and see what it might be because I, I'm just trying to figure why you have this coupon and I don't or why many of us probably won't. So out of pocket would be 1998. And then we're going to submit to fetch for 2000 points when you spend 15. It's a limit of three times. Um, uh, so you can keep doing this, obviously. Final cost ends up being 1798 total or 450 per box. This is an amazing deal if you happen to have that digital coupon. So fingers crossed that you happen to have it because it's really, really good. Next comment we have is from Maria who said, verify your your video of Colgate with coupon of Crest, but they are five on three for Colgate. So um, I went back and looked and 
sure enough, I messed up. Sorry, guys. So if you'll see the actual visual of the coupon is a Crest coupon. I'm honestly not sure what I did to, to mess this up because I know I did clip it, but I think the very next screen I do use the Crest and I may have just copied and pasted something over. Anyway, sometimes I just make silly mistakes, but this is the coupon that you are looking for for the Colgate, the five off three. It does connect to these products here. So the deal is still the same. Nothing has changed. I just messed up my visual on the screen. So thank you. I, I do appreciate, I actually do appreciate you checking me. I can't tell you how many times I have actually messed up products for some reason the CeraVe and the Cetaphil coupons I mess them up all the time like to the point one time I put out a whole freebie deal and the whole thing was completely wrong because I had connected the wrong products together and I have no idea why um, and then somebody pointed it out and I felt terrible because I threw it out there and I thought I was like the first, I was so excited. I was the first person to find this deal. And of course I was the first person because it wasn't a deal, <laughs> but thank you for checking me. This is a deal. I just messed up my picture. All right, next comment we have, I hit my Kroger when it opened today and got Gogurt on clearance for $1.52. So that means that you got it for a dollar, right? Or no, 52 cents, sorry, dollar off. 52 cents and Hot Pockets on clearance for $1.57. Um, and the mega sale worked, it came off. So 57 cents for the Hot Pocket, which is crazy. And 52 cents for the Gogurt, which is also crazy. Completely awesome, I'm super jealous. Um, again, I love sharing clearance deals. I wish we could get them across the board. Obviously, it's gonna vary from store to store, how much stock they have, um, how much, um, or, or where the, the you know expiration dates are setting, that kind of thing depends on our clearance, but yes, and when we get a good clearance deal, it's good. Now, obviously, like the Easter clearance stuff is gonna be across the board, but the food is all gonna vary from store to store. So you just have to cross your fingers and hope you get lucky. We all have been there and we've all been jealous of other people. Um, last comment here is, the produce from Sojourner um, actually was really awesome, did a bunch of research for us. So $1.99 for a pound of strawberries in the zip code 37205. So if you put that in, you change your zip code, you should be out, allowed to clip that coupon. Then I actually had, um, it was two fifty dollars something, I think, in uh, Texas for blueberries. But this is $1.99 for a pint of blueberries. Also two times of fuel points if you're looking for that. The Texas one was also two times of fuel points. But the zip code is 39208. So if you're wanting some blueberries. And then um, the avocado is much better here in this zip code. 88 cents only. I think mine's 99 cents. But it's 75219. Um, so thank you so much for posting those zip codes. If you're not sure how to change zip codes and all that, I, I am, it's on my list of things to do. I just haven't had time to sit down and make a video on how to do that. It's pretty simple to change your zip code. I will be working on that and hopefully getting that out for you soon. You can change your zip code and then you can download the digitals that you need. Like I said, I will do my best to get that out to you as soon as possible. Um, but thank you so much for doing that legwork for us. All right, question of the day. How many people do you coupon for? I was thinking about this and I was like, that's a very interesting question. So I, of course, coupon for my household, which is five people, my, me and my husband and my three kids. But I also have my dad that I take care of and I do 100% of his shopping for him. And it got to the point where um, when he first moved down here and he got his own place because he was in a nursing home for a little bit and then we got him his own little apartment, um, that uh, I was just using everything on my Kroger card. and But the problem was either I had to sacrifice myself from the deals or I had to sacrifice him from the deal. So I ended up signing him up with his name and his address and everything, his own Kroger account. Of course, I'm the one that manages it. And, um, and that way he could get the deals that I could get and vice versa so that one of us didn't have to sacrifice our deals. So it actually works out really well. Um, the, do you remember back when we were getting the big thing of Tide Pods for three something? It was really, really awesome deal. Um, I actually got to do the deal twice, once on my account, once on my dad's account. Now I actually kept them because I also do all of his laundry, but it's kind of like, you know, that's cool. I was able to, to, to do this and now I 
you know, he gets to benefit by having his laundry done, <laughs> which I was going to do anyway, but I never charge him for that. But that's sometimes I use his account to, to help me get those deals. But I'm just curious, how many people do you coupon for on a regular basis? Is it just your family? Is uh, your, your, and I say just your family, obviously my dad's my family, but is it just your in-house family or is it um, multiple households that you coupon for? I'm just curious about that. So anyway, um, leave me a comment. Let me know. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Of course, it's Thursday, so we're almost to the weekend, guys. We're almost there. Um, have a wonderful weekend, and I will be back with you on a later date. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel. All right, guys. See ya.